welcome to Nautel's N Plus One system. The system that we have in front of us today has five NB5 transmitters providing five different program services backed up with an NB5 transmitter. Our system is very flexible, it will allow different power levels. You can have an NB5, NB10, NB20, and a transmitter which will go to presets to select the right power level for whichever transmitter has failed. We're now looking at the RF switches for the N plus one system. The, the switch location is custom set depending on the customer, but for power levels over five kilowatts, we generally mount the switches on top of the transmitters. As we zoom in close to look at the switches, we can see that this particular application we're using a 7-8 CIA flange type switch. The brains behind the N plus one system is the N plus one controller, which in our internal numbering system we call the SC1. This monitors the RF power from each of the transmitters and if, if one fails, it selects the N plus one's RF output into the antenna system and routes the failed transmitter into a dummy load. The SC1 also makes sure that the proper program feed goes to the N plus one transmitter when it's filling in that slot. Although the contents of the program input equipment rack are customer depending on customer requirements, every, every switching system has to have a program switcher, which is facilitated with these two units here. This particular client wanted a receiver, patch panel, audio processor, and distribution amplifier in this particular setup. When the transmitter system is running, each one of the program feeds comes to the switcher, is routed to its own program transmitter system. If a, if a transmitter fails, the SC1 sends a signal to the program switcher to automatically transfer the station program to the N plus one transmitter. So from the on-air listener's point of view, it's a nearly seamless switch. I'm now going to do a demonstration of how the SC1 controller automatically switches the N plus one transmitter into a failed position. Right now we have five transmitters all operating at three kilowatts. This end transmitter is running at 88 megahertz at three kilowatts and I'm going to simulate a fault by opening the door and turning off one of the power modules. When we do that, We'll now walk over to the plus one transmitter. We'll save this transmitter in five seconds, get selected to 88 megahertz, and it will come up to three kilowatts. We're now going to do a demonstration of priority selection by the SC1. In the menu of the SC1, we've selected this transmitter, which is 99 megahertz, to be the highest priority. So if I initiate a simulated failure in this transmitter by feeling a power module, even though the A transmitter is selected to the dummy load and the N plus one assumes its position, when I do this by simulating a failure, we can come over to the N plus one transmitter, which is now operating at 88 megahertz, and now within five seconds it has switched to 99 megahertz. We're now looking at the menu screen for the SC1, and we just demonstrated a failed transmitter and a, and a switch. So now we're going to go ahead and pretend we've made the repairs in the transmitter, and we're going to set the system back in this normal mode. So very simply, from the menu screen, we look at the transfer menu, which is here. I've highlighted normal. I hit edit. We want normal, so we hit save. The system then goes there was a very brief blink of transit as the RF switches in the program went through the switching procedure and now we're in normal operation. All the transmitters are back into the antenna system. With the SC1, we're now going to look at how we set up the thresholds and the priority selection in the menu. So from the top menu, you press the menu button and the wish to select backup presets select that. We see the threshold of each of the transmitters is set at 1500 watts, a delay of five seconds, and the priorities are shown over on this side. We would scroll down to the one we wish to change. If we wish to make E as priority number one, 
from that point, press edit, come down to that field, edit, select number one, save, go back. We've now some feedback showing that we've selected it as number number one priority. Go back to the top menu again and we check to make sure our priority selection is turned on because it is an option. So at transfer, we see priority is on. If we wish to turn that off, very simply scroll down to that position, edit, turn it off, and save. We're now going to demonstrate the manual transfer function of the SC1. To do that, we simply hit transfer, come down to auto, edit, set it to manual, go up to the user setting, which is normal, edit that, and select whichever transmitter we wish to switch to the dummy load and put the N plus one into the antenna. So we will select C, save, and that has done the transfer as simple as that.